In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the brake fluid on a uh, front brake fluid on a 2009 Kawasaki KLR650. Um, DOT3 and DOT4 brake fluids are a polyglycol solution and they're hygroscopic, which means uh, they absorb water. Uh, brake, brake fluid can absorb up to 2% of its volume in water every year. And when that happens, it lowers the uh, boiling point of the brake fluid and um, it can cause uh, brake system components to corrode. So uh, replacing the brake fluid should be part of your bike's maintenance. Uh, check with your owner's manual to see when your man the manufacturer of your bike recommends replacing the brake fluid. But as a general rule, about every two years, um, you, should, you should take out the old brake fluid and put new uh, brake fluid in the bike. Before we get started, there's a couple of things you should do. Um, one is uh, clean around the area where you're working, especially like around this, um, this uh, master cylinder uh, brake fluid reservoir. Uh, you don't want dirt to get into your uh, brake system because it will eventually cause uh, wear on your components and um, it will cost you money in the long run. So clean around those areas. Also, um, brake fluid is uh, a solvent and it can it will take the t uh, paint off of plastics and metal. So I'm going to put a, um, I got already have a rag underneath this, but I'm going to put a, a fender cover just to catch any, any brake fluid that might drip. After you've taken, after you've cleaned the area where you'll be working and you've taken uh, the necessary precautions to catch any paint or brake fluid that might drop on the paint, uh, we want to remove this uh, brake fluid reservoir cover. This, on this uh, bike it's only held on by two uh, Phillips screws. Underneath this is a diaphragm. Um, we can remove that to reveal the reservoir and then set that aside. Next thing you want to do is come down to your brake caliper here. Um, find your brake bleeder screw which is uh, right here. Get a wrench on it and um, take a hose and attach it to the end of this to catch any brake fluid. And then um, route the hose into a container to catch uh, the old brake fluid and then Make sure this is on good. And then loosen this up. Now come up to your uh, brake fluid reservoir and uh, front brake lever and uh, just pump this stuff out. Going into the container there. With most of the uh, old brake fluid drained out of this uh, front brake, um, you can come down here and, and re-tighten this uh, bleeder screw and remove the hose and then we can um, get ready to add new brake fluid and, and uh, bleed it through the system. There's a couple of ways you can, you can bleed the brakes. Uh, the first method, which is the, the more difficult method and the method I'm not going to use, is that you can add your brake fluid, fill your reservoir, um, then pump, not pump, but compress your uh, brake lever, hold it, then come down to your, uh, your brake caliper, uh, loosen up the brake bleeder uh, screw and let, let out any air or uh, uh, brake fluid, then tighten it, and then repeat the process. And, you know, you do that like... Uh, 10 or 20 times and, and you can bleed the uh, air, out, air out of the uh, front brake system. Um, but that's the more difficult method. Uh, the method I'm going to use is uh, using a, a vacuum pump. This is my Mighty Vac vacuum pump and this is what I'm going to use to bleed the brakes. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, connect this reservoir, put this cap here on the reservoir, this, this reservoir here. Um, attach a, a line here and a line here. Connect one line to the brake bleeder screw and the other line to the vacuum pump. And I'm going to create a vacuum, and that vacuum will suck um, the new brake fluid through the um, through the front brake system, and that's the easier way to to bleed the front brakes. My uh, Mighty Vac MV um, 8500 uh, set up here. Um, this is a pretty cool uh, vacuum pump. It also um, will operate as a pressure pressure pump. Um, it does both. Uh, but anyway, I've got it set up to operate as a vacuum pump. I've got the clear line attached to the pump, and then it goes to 
my reservoir to catch any of my old brake fluid. And then I've got the other line that goes from the reservoir to the uh, brake bleeder screw on the uh, front calipers. First thing I'm going to do is add brake fluid to the uh, brake fluid reservoir using the uh, recommended um, DOT3 or DOT4 or whatever your manufacturer recommends for your bike. I'm going to fill that up. After the, the reservoir is full, then I'm going to come back down here and uh, create a vacuum. Um, in this vacuum pump, I'm going to go until the dial is like right around the 10 mark. and. Then I'm going to go ahead and open up this bleeder screw, and then the after I open up the bleeder screw, uh, brake fluid is going to start coming through this brake fluid and air is going to start coming through this line. Um, there's one really important thing that you need to do is uh, always keep a vacuum going, and also um, keep an eye on your reservoir because if you if you let the the brake fluid uh, empty out of the reservoir, you're going to introduce uh, air into the front brake system and you'll have to start all over. So start right now. Start pulling this old stuff through in the air. I'm going to go back up here and got to keep an eye on that. And at the same time, I got to keep a vacuum in this uh, system here. You can see this is already getting low. Keep that full. Come back down here, check. Check my line, it's getting clearer, it's getting more consistent with less air. You can see the air bubbles moving through here. Uh oh. Put some more vacuum. It's getting more consistent. Oh, time for more brake fluid. And I think I can tighten this up now. And then after you tighten it up, you can go back up here check to see how your brake feels. It feels really good. Got some air coming out of the system. Yeah, it feels really good, really hard. So now I can fill this up to the t to the uh, full point and then reattach my um, reservoir cap. I did notice a few uh, air bubbles come out of this uh, um, master cylinder when I pressed on the brake lever. So what I did is I, off camera, I ran uh, a, a couple of uh, reservoirs full of brake fluid, ran it through the system again just to make sure I got all the air out. Um, it's just it's hard trying to um, look through this camera lens and also, um, you know, trying to keep an eye on this brake fluid reservoir and everything on camera. Um, but anyway, I'm ready to reinstall my reservoir cap. Uh, there's a diaphragm on top of this. Um, this can be when 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 your brake fluid wear when your brake brake pads wear, um, the brake fluid will lower, and when that brake fluid lowers, it will pull out this diaphragm. Um, so make sure it's fully collapsed like it is here before you install it. This uh, I can't pull it out, but. Like this centerpiece will pull out when the reservoir, when the brake fluid in the reservoir lowers like this. So just make sure, push that back in and make sure it's um, fully collapsed and then go ahead and reinstall it on your uh, brake fluid reservoir and um, reinstall your screws. Just to recap on this video, uh, DOT3 and DOT4 brake fluid will absorb water over time, so it's important that uh, replacing the brake fluid on your motorcycle is part of your uh, motorcycle maintenance program. Uh, always check with your repair manual for your motorcycle to see when the manufacturer uh, recommends replacing the brake fluid. 
Uh, usually it's around every two years. Uh, if your bike has uh, dual calipers for the front brakes, uh, this procedure in this video is going to be slightly different. If your bike has a length brake system, uh, it's going to be different. And if your bike uses ABS, it's going to be different. So bottom line, regardless of what bike you have, uh, always follow the instructions in, in the repair manual for your motorcycle. Um, but hopefully you're able to get, uh, you get a general idea of what's involved by watching this video. One other thing I forgot to mention, um, when you add new brake fluid to your motorcycle, make sure it always comes from a new container because um, open containers, uh, the brake fluid in open containers will absorb water over time. So um, it's, it's always best to use uh, brake fluid from a new silk container. Uh, so um, hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.